Hello students. Welcome back to Techo Kids. We are back with scratch programming tutorials. Today is your sixth class in which you are going to continue to make virtual pet step by step using scratch. So let us start up the scratch editor. So we have completed three uh, things, four things, right? Touching the pet, brushing, radio and glass. Now, if you remember, we have to keep a thirst level of our pet as well. So I want something, something over here that should keep a track of the thirst level of my pet. So how we can do that? Now, thirst is going to change. Okay, it is going to change with time. It should increase with time and should get reset to zero when it drinks the water. So that is basically a variable. Variable is something that keeps changing its value. So here we will create this, say, thirst. Okay, so you will get thirst level over here. You can place it anywhere you want. This corner is pretty okay. Now, what I want is this thirst should increase as soon as you hit the green flag, right? So I will go here and I will just say it when green flag is clicked, what should happen? It should keep increasing. It should keep increasing my variable, like change the variable, but which variable? The first variable, okay, by one. And I should keep doing this till the end, and that is forever. So when this green flag is clicked, uh, uh oh, this value is going so high. No, no, no. It should actually wait, wait for some time and then increase it, right? Like uh, every second, it should not increase. So I'll just stop it and I'll ask it to wait, okay? Now to ask it to wait, what you have to do is go to control and wait for say 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. Its value is still at very high position. So what we can do is we can just reset it. To reset your variable, what do you have to do? You have to set it here. Set it to zero. Okay, when green flag is clicked, it sets to zero and increases, but the speed is still very high. What I want is, I just want it to wait for one second and then change, let us see. Yeah, this, this speed is okay for changing the thirst level. So as soon as the green flag is clicked, it will start increasing the thirst thing. But now what should happen as soon as it drinks the water, thirst level should come to zero. Now, how we can do that? When you have offered it water, your variable should get set to zero again. Set thirst to zero. Okay, let us see if this works. Green flag is clicked. Thirst level is increasing. I will give it water. Can you see? Value changes to zero again. Okay. All right, that is the thing. We have completed with glass, as, uh, glass water as well. Now let us come to the baseball. Okay, what should happen that when you click this baseball, it should start moving with the cursor. Okay, so let us first implement that thing. Like the baseball. What should happen here? Okay, when this baseball is clicked. Yes it should go to the mouse pointer. So from motion, you have to select it, go to mouse pointer. Like wherever you will pound, uh, point this mouse, it should move there. Okay.
it should keep doing this it should keep repeating this thing so so i will just say it to repeat okay but we have to give it a stop point as well okay repeat until then it should keep doing this but until then when say it touches the edge of the stage right so from sensing you can select this touching the edge so let us see if this works i've clicked my ball it is moving and as soon as I, it touches the edge it stops here but i want it to come back here at this point at this position right so to bring it here what i have to say is glide yes it should glide to this location just after touching the edge okay let us see i've clicked it it is moving and as soon as it touches the edge it comes to this position okay otherwise it will stop somewhere at the edge okay so ball is moving but at the same point what should happen my pet should move behind the ball now how we can make it do that okay so as soon as i click the ball it should give a message to my pet that you have to play so to do that what i have to do broadcast it so from events you have to select broadcast okay so as soon as it is clicked it should broadcast a new message that is play okay now this message will be received by my pet so from event when i receive this thing play then what should happen the pet should go behind the ball okay the pet should go behind the ball that is how we are going to do it here so it should glide to the mouse position from motion you have to select this glide to mouse position or pointer yes okay let us click the ball okay it is coming here but should keep repeating this it should keep repeating this so it should repeat until should repeat this until when when it either touches the ball or it touches the edge okay i want it should stop it should stop when it touches the ball or the edge of this stage so how we can say that now for this you have to go to operators in operator you have two conditions that is saying this or this okay so when either of the things happen it should stop so i will take this block and place it here can you see the shape of this block fits exactly into the blank space of repeat until so that is how the operators work now here you have to provide two conditions what are those conditions when you want it to stop so first is it touching the edge okay or another condition is okay i will just put it properly yes and the entire thing into this make sure you click the block correctly now another thing is either it is touching the ball okay that is the baseball over here all right if you see the entire block it is this way that when it receives the play broadcast it should keep gliding until it touches the edge or the baseball fine so let us see if it is working correctly i will touch this 
so it should move yeah it is moving okay it is chasing the ball correctly now what i want is i wanted to check if it stops yeah it stops but my pet should go back to this position right my pet should go back to this position so i will ask it to glide here okay that is its original position from motion say to glide glide to its original position okay now let us check if this is working okay it chases the ball now as soon as it touches the edge it goes back to its original position yes that is how it is working okay now you remember that when it plays with ball, uh, ball or the radio the fun level should increase right so what should happen with the fun level let us see we have to create a new variable okay and name it as fun say it okay place it properly over here i'm keeping some space for hunger as well okay so here now this fun should increase fun level should increase when it plays the uh, plays the music and also when it plays with the ball so here i will just say it change fun by say five points okay every time it dances and this also change fun level by five points when it plays with the ball right let us see if it really works i'm playing the music it will play for say six seconds you can see fun level change to five now when you play with the ball okay you can see fun level again changed by five that is 10 now but the thing is when green flag is clicked okay this is not getting reset to zero that is what we have to say it so i will go to hedgehogs command and here i have to say it set thirst to zero where i've said it at the same point i will say set fun to zero okay you can see it here only set fun to zero yes this is the point let's see if it is working okay both set to zero thirst increases but fun will increase only when you play with it right okay so we have completed with brush radio water glass ball touching the pet now the final thing is uh, when you feed it okay how you, how this food should go here and come back again right so, so the same thing is going to repeat for this sprite also let us quickly do it go to the sprite what should we say it when it is clicked when the sprite is clicked what should happen it should glide to this position okay to this position so i will just say it to glide to this position now what should happen here chomping sound should come that should give the effect of biting the fruit so from sounds you can select the chomp sound okay go to sound and just start sound chomp then it should wait for a few seconds say 0 0.5 seconds and come back to its position this fruit should come back to its position that is this one so again i have to say it to glide to this position okay let us see if it is working fruit goes there jump comes back yes and now at this point what should happen hunger level should be maintained so let us quickly make another variable that says hunger make a variable name it as hunger say it okay now place it properly now what should happen this hunger should also keep increasing along with thirst right so we can do it here 
and did that go to fit and at this block where you have set it that wait for one second and change thirst value by one at the same time we will say to change hunger value by one hunger value yes okay and at the same time we have to set it to zero as well set it to zero set hunger to zero we have done this thing for thirst and fun earlier same thing is being done for hunger now here thirst hunger and fun all the three values all the three variables will be set to zero when the green flag is clicked right and thirst and hunger should increase uh, after every one second okay but fun value will not increase it will increase only when you play with your pet right okay now let us quickly check if all the functionalities are working correctly i've clicked over here yes this comes back but see uh, hunger should decrease right as soon as it eats the apple so you can just see it set hunger to zero okay now let us see once again when this fruit is clicked it eats it yes hunger value set to zero let it drink some water zero let's play with it to check if the fun value increases yes things are working correctly now only one thing is remaining where this uh, pet has to introduce itself that part is remaining so i will quickly go there okay then when green flag is clicked it should say it should say my name is uh, okay so here only i can write it hello or say hi i am jojo fine let us see if it is saying hi i'm jojo now let us see in the full screen mode sure let's click the green flag when you click the pet it should play with you also the brush yes the song and the dance of the pet yes it is working correctly you can see here fun level increased to five also when it drinks water thirst level sets to zero and when you play with it it chases the ball and on touching it it will go back to its position also fun level increased again now let us feed something hunger level set to one now you know how to create virtual pet so we recommend you to make it again with some more effective changes if you want to learn more about scratch keep watching our videos also make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one thanks for watching